Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. So typically when you're talking about niche fragrances, they're very situational, which is really what niche means. You know, it fits a niche, it has a very specific situation it's good for, and they generally have more complexity, more depth, and maybe they're even a little bit more challenging. However, sometimes niche companies do put out warm weather fragrances that are pretty easy to wear. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about those exactly. This is gonna be a list of my top five warm weather and high heat refreshing niche fragrances for 2021. So if you're interested to hear about this list of fragrances, please stick around. But first, let's roll that intro. All right, welcome back. So like I said in the intro, this is gonna be my list of my top five refreshing high heat niche fragrances for 2021. So with that out of the way, we're gonna jump straight into the video here at the number five spot. And starting the list off here at the number five spot, this is in no particular order. This one is from Maison Francis Kirkjohn. This is Aqua Celestia Forte. And this is kind of an interesting fragrance because when you smell it from the atomizer, you get a lot of the heart notes and base notes, which are the florals. This has quite a few florals in it, in particular white florals, but it's not a super heavy floral fragrance when you actually wear it. You get a lot more of the top notes, which are the citruses and then the herbal notes. And the most dominant note here is actually the lime. So when you spray this thing on, that's the first thing you detect. It's a very photorealistic lime, it smells absolutely amazing. I love the way lime smells and tastes, of course, but you also get some lemon in here again another citrusy nuance so this thing is very fresh and citrusy there's a little bit of a kind of soapiness coming from the pedigree here which is adding a green touch as well and you even get some mint which to me it's not like a heavy sweet chewing gum kind of mint it's more of a very laid-back kind of mellow icy mint just kind of adding like I said this icy quality so it just makes it even fresher than that and then like I said in the heart you get a lot of these florals but they're white florals so they add kind of this fresh quality to it just add a little bit of a floral touch but it's not overly heavy so if you don't like super floral fragrances, you still might like this one. To me, this is definitely dominated by the citruses and then those herbal and soapy notes at the top. There's a little bit of clean musk in here as well. So this is just a really nice, well-rounded niche fragrance and it's pretty long lasting for a fresh fragrance as well. So if you're looking for a fresh niche fragrance that is dominated by a lime note with kind of a soapy quality as well, you should really check this one out. Again, from the house of Maison Francis Kirchon, this is Aqua Celestia Forte. So up next here at the number four spot, we have a fragrance that is technically a designer fragrance because it is from a designer house. However, I consider all the fragrances from this house niche, and that's because they are expensive, but they are expensive for a good reason. They use very good ingredients. They smell very nice. A lot of them have decent lasting power, and a lot of them are very situational and have a challenging side to them. So to me, those are niche fragrances. This one is very easy to wear. It is a fresh fragrance. That's why it is here on this list. This is from the house of Tom Ford. This is Neroli Portofino Forte. And you could technically put the original Neroli Portofino here or even the aqua version, I suppose. However, this is the best version for me. This has a really good balance of fresh with lasting power as well. This is definitely the longest lasting version in the Neroli Portofino line. They've also changed around the notes here a little bit. There aren't quite as many notes, but they've really kind of put an emphasis on the ones that are there. So here you get a blood orange and I think there's maybe a little bit of bergamot here as well. You definitely get neroli as well as some orange blossom. So it is definitely a white floral forward fragrance along with a lot of citruses as well. There's a little bit of lavender here and woody notes as well, giving you kind of an aromatic touch, but this is a very, very light wearing fragrance. And the lasting power that it has for as light as it is, is really impressive. If you like white florals in particular, neroli, you're really gonna like this one. It is a very fresh, probably the freshest floral note out there. And here it is It is just beautifully blended with the citruses. And like I said, that lavender and those woody notes, this thing smells absolutely elegant. It is pretty transportive as well. It kind of takes you to Italy along the coastline. So if that's something you're after, a very transportive, fresh fragrance that is very niche and high quality, this is one that you should really check out. So again, here at the number four spot, that is Neroli Portofino Forte from the house of Tom Ford. So here at the number three spot, we have a classic Italian cologne from a classic Italian house, but modernized. So this has taken an older DNA, kind of rounded it out, it smells very modern, very nice, and this is tailored for the warm weather, which is why it's here on this list. This one is from Aqua de Parma. This is Colonia Assoluta. 
And the original version of this fragrance, the Colonia, that one came out in 1916, and it definitely does have a dated smell to it. I'm not saying it smells unwearable, you know, in today's age, but there is kind of a sophisticated side to it, which I don't mind. I know a lot of people like to stay away from stuff that smells old. This is a nice modern take on that DNA. So this has kept all of the timeless aspects of that fragrance, but then it's kind of tweaked it around, made it smell very modern. You get a lot of the citruses from that fragrance. So there's bitter orange in here. You get bergamot. There's also sweet orange, which does add a little bit of a sweetness. And this is probably the sweetest fragrance on this list, but it's not super sweet by any means. None of these are. These are all perfect for the high heat. You also get a little bit of lemon verbena in here, adding a slight sophistication to it, but still a fresh side as well. And you get a little bit of cardamom in here, which is a very fresh cardamom and adds a touch of that sweetness as well. You get some oak moss and some other florals in the base. In all, this is an amazing citrusy fragrance. It smells very realistic. It smells like a fruit bowl of citruses blended with a little bit of sweetness and kind of this herbal quality. And if you're after something like that, you absolutely have to check this one out. Really good bang for your buck here. My only issue with this fragrance is the performance. I usually only get about four hours of longevity. And that's because this is an eau de cologne, just like all of the Colonia fragrances. So not the best lasting power, but like I said, it is pretty affordable for a niche fragrance. You can spray this thing super heavy and you can always reapply. So an amazing smelling fresh citrusy fragrance from the house of Aqua de Parma. Very modern smelling as well. This is one you should check out before it's hard to find. That is Colonia Asaluta. Here at the number two spot, we have a really nice, fresh aquatic fragrance with a little bit of a saltiness. This is actually one that unfortunately I've not been able to wear too much yet because I did pick it up this winter. However, now that we're getting into the really warm weather, I plan on wearing this one a lot more. This is from the House of Creed. It is called Erofa. And this is kind of a transport of fragrance as well, similar to Neroli Portofino Forte. This one kind of takes you onto the water itself rather than like the coastline. It has a very kind of salty sea breeze smell, very, very fresh. It does kind of have a cool side to it, but at the same time, you kind of imagine being in a warmer setting. So this one is dominated by fruit notes. You get bergamot, lime, lemon, and there's also melon here. So very citrusy, but you get a little bit of kind of this unique melon take as well. A little bit fruity in a way. There's also some herbal and green notes. You get a lot of ambergris, sandalwood, and then musk here in the base. And you see that kind of trio there, ambergris, sandalwood, musk, and a lot of the fresh Creed fragrances. Adds a really nice salty note, adds almost this aquatic feel. And this one, like I said, it is dominated by these citruses and those fruit notes, very, very fresh. This almost has a soapy quality in a way coming from the green notes here. Just smells absolutely fantastic. Not a super long lasting fragrance, but like I've talked about before, I really care a lot more about how something smells rather than how long it lasts. Performance is definitely a plus, but I take scent over anything else and this one smells really, really nice. So if you want like a salty sea breeze kind of fruity, fresh fragrance that is very transportive, you should really check out this one from the House of Creed. Again, that is Creed Arolfa here at the number two spot. And finally, here at the number one spot, we have one of the best just citrus forward fragrances that I've ever tried. And I honestly get decent longevity from this for how light and citrusy it actually is. This one is coming from Roja Parfums. This is Elysium, the Parfum version. And I feel like I have to clarify this every single time I talk about this particular bottle right here because this is the Parfum Cologne bottle. So that might be confusing, but this is actually the Parfum juice. If you did not know, Roja made a limited 100 ml edition of Elysium Parfum using the Parfum Cologne bottle because this is 100 mils. The only way to tell the difference is from the Swarovski crystal cap, which usually denotes the Parfum versions of Roja Parfums. And then also there is a little inked like lettering here on the bottom saying Elysium Special, which means the special 100 ml edition of the Parfum. So this is indeed the Parfum, not the Parfum Cologne. And actually the note breakdowns on the two are different. This is missing the black current from the Parfum Cologne, which I don't really mind. I honestly do like the smell of the Parfum better, but really the big draw to me for this one is the performance. I usually get about eight hours, which for a super light and bright citrusy fragrance, eight hours is amazing. This thing is dominated by citruses. You get a lot of grapefruit. There's lemon in here, lime, and then some apple as well. So you get a little bit of kind of a sweet fruitiness from the apple, but this is really a lot more focused on the citruses and in particular, the grapefruit. The grapefruit here honestly does come across a little bit bitter and harsh, but I really dig it. 
The other citruses add a nice citrusy touch as well. This thing is just a fruit basket of citruses and then a little bit of that apple. You get some ambergris here as well, but it's not overly aquatic or salty smelling. Again, this is really dominated by those citruses. So if that's something you're looking for, just a very powerful citrusy fragrance, this is one you should really check out. And even though citruses are a pretty simple note, there's nothing else out there that smells like Elysium. There's something that Roja has done with this fragrance that really does make it stand out despite its ease of wear and versatility. So again, here at the number one spot from Roja Parfums, this is Elysium, the Parfum Virgin. Well, there you guys go. That was my top five refreshing, fresh niche fragrances for the high heat here in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this list. And if you did, or if you found it useful or helpful, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support. And then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Additionally, if you wanna write a comment, maybe just let me know your thoughts as well as some new video ideas or topics, that would be great too. And since you're down there doing all that stuff, if you've not already, if you could hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification, that would be amazing. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.